Hola, hello, I'm the English Scribe. I'm trying to find and make some sense in this crazy world. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing this Faith in Nature Wild Rose Shampoo, restoring for normal to dry hair. I'm also going to review, uh, be reviewing uh, quite a few of their shampoos. Full disclosure, I was not sent anything from them. I don't know their PR. Do they have PR? I don't know. Um, I wasn't gifted this, um, so this isn't going to be some press release rehash, um, it's going to be the honest, do you need it, is it essential, is it worth the money, and also speaking as a Latina, it's very much about is it any good for our hair, speaking for all Latinas and Latinx, yeah, we, we know the struggle is real, trying to find a decent shampoo that just doesn't like weigh it down, or, you know, kind of, yeah. If you know, you know. Um, Latina hair gang, where are you? Yes. Um, yes. So, uh, Faith in Nature. If you're not aware or know of this particular company, they're based in Greater Manchester. They've been going for 45 years, which is no mean feat in and of itself. The founder uh, originally hails from New York, and uh, how it came about is she had an avocado seed and she grew it and she wanted to find like natural decent um, moisturizer and products and such and um, so she started making her own which I don't know about you but I've got to admire that kind of gumption don't we all brothers and sisters and siblings not constrained by such binary concepts as gender am I right um, uh, yes they are vegan they don't use anything of animal, any animal products. They are not tested on animals. They are cruelty free. They are. They have no parabens, no silicones, no SLSs, no keratin. Um, the new formulated shampoos are 99% natural. The 1% is um, a preservative to make sure that this shampoo does doesn't go all mouldy and um, I've been using their products for quite some time and yes I'm not gonna lie I really really put this to the test um, I have thick Latina hair anyone who has thick Latina hair will know that you need to work through at least half a bottle of like crap shampoo to actually work up a bit of a lather and um, you know, with silicones and keratin, it tends to coat your hair, so it tends to go and um, just trying to find a decent hairdresser that will treat your hair with the loving respect and TLC that it deserves and not just hack away at it as though it's a particularly dodgy cross between um, Medusa and um, Poison Ivy, you know, which, um, or they start dropping that really dodgy thing of like, you have good hair which I think we all know that's just not the thing to say. There's no such thing as good hair or bad hair. It's just hair. Um, yes, I went out and bought this. It's a 5 49 It's available in most independent health food shops. You can also buy it in Whole Foods. Um, that's the chain Whole Foods in the UK. Um, you can also find it in... Um, certain independent chemists as well. You can also buy it online from um, the Faith in Nature website, oddly enough. Um, it's 400 mils or 13.5 fluid ounces and it's 549. If you go to Holland and Ballot, Barrett, which is where it's available, um, during their buy one get one half price, you can buy two bottles of shampoo for a um, not unreasonable sum of money. Or if you go during their penny sale, I, I think you know what I'm getting at. Um, it's incredibly good value for money. Um, scent wise, it's wild rose. And it smells like wild rose, which, um, yeah, it's kind of satisfying. It has uh, specifically that smell of, um, you know, overgrown tea roses or um, during a May... June when it's particularly when mother nature starts squealing out for a bit of um, moisture and you know that lovely smell that you get from natural wild roses when you just walk past and they've been rained on and they've just, just guzzled that moisture yeah so it it does what it says on the tin scent wise um 
I'm not going to lie, I really, really put this to the test. Um, I've mentioned I have thick Latina hair, which can be um, kind of problematic because most pro hair products in the UK are geared towards very fine hair. And um, yes, so not only did my hair need a wash, my hairdresser is of the opinion that I should only wash my hair once a week. And um, yeah, I bleached it as well. So it was not only treating a greasy heavy mass of hair but it was dealing with like it was washing out bleach like i didn't skimp on the peroxide uh consistency wise it has that lovely sweet spot between baby runny shampoo and um satisfyingly thick conditioner um you don't need that much of it um, that's one problem that you get with natural vegan organic -y shampoos because they don't have SLS's which is what makes it so lathery and work up a good head um, you need to work through quite a bit or just get used to the fact that it doesn't work up a lather but this didn't need that much not even for my thick long hair um, didn't need that much to work up a bit of a lather um, which was um, very reassuring I'm not gonna lie I was really blown away um, it managed to work through um, dirty hair and it managed to work through Latina hair which is no mean feat and it managed to as well deliver some much needed TLC on freshly peroxided hair so that's pretty good going and um, it's day four and my hair is still really really lovely um, another thing that's worth bearing in mind is that I paid five forty nine. At the most you'd be looking at, um, the most I've ever seen it on sale for is six forty nine, and that's pretty good bang for buck when you compare it to other ranges like um, Green People, who their what's it their organic and quinoa shampoo. No, I initially thought that was a salad, but no. Uh, that 100 mils of that is £10 and that's considered a bargain. I mean, if you want to spend £10 on 100 mils, power to you. But um, yeah, pretty good bang for your buck. And um, I'm giving it the full, buy it, try it, you will love it. Um, and it's not just that, there's more, much more. Um, Faith in Nature, they have a fragrance-free hypoallergenic shampoo. Um, I bought it because, you know, I, I like the thought of just using something that's unscented. And I actually tried it out on uh, my then boyfriend who had very, very bad eczema. He still does. And um, it's the only thing he can use. He, um, you know, it's sort of like, like it is, he starts kind of like whimpering if like I put anything that's got a slight bit of chemicals in this, like iffy chemicals. We all know chemicals are everywhere. But um, he can use it to wash his beard. That's saying something. He used it to um, wash his hair and face and it managed to clear up all the flakes. So I'm bigging this one up as well. Not only that, but it's really good if you want to wash your cashmere jumpers as well. So it's like even more bonus. Um, one thing that I... I really, really wanted to love this, lavender and geranium. I love lavender, I love geranium. It's for normal to dry hair, it has lavender oil. Um, I really tried. I really need to use a lot to get it to like have any semblance of clean hair. And even then, by day four, my hair will start feeling in need of a wash again. So um, not quite for my hair. Um, it might work for your hair, but another added bonus of this, this is really great on when it comes to washing cashmere. So there's that. Um, this, I, oh, I, I wanted to love this. Brave Botanicals, Nourish and Repair. I mean, that's just music to a Latina girl's hip is. Yeah, it's specifically for dry, damaged and coloured hair. You know, ding, 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 you know, come at me. Um, however, because it's exquisite damask and rose, um, also infused with neroli, however, I found the consistency really thick and I had to use quite a lot of it to um, get any semblance of clean. And again, like the lavender and geranium by day four, it was a case of, yeah, I need to wash my hair again. Um, 
but I'm sure it's I'm sure it's great for someone's hair but not necessarily thick Latina hair um, surprisingly gorgeous ones which I do I, I cannot sing the praises of enough uh, faith in nature for men blue cedar I mean it's it's labeled for men but um, I mean the smell is just absolutely gorgeous it smells it smells like a cross between a really lovely clean fresh forest and that slightly ozonic smell that you get from the sea um, it's one of those you wash your hair and your hair just feels all clean and bouncy and lovely um, you know I, I love it to bits and if faith in nature brought this out as a perfume I'd, I'd wear it every day another thing which I also love to bits it, this is for all hair types it's the seaweed and citrus um, it's just oh my word with wild harvested um, seaweed as opposed to tame uh, not free range seaweed I'd kind of hope there isn't a battery farm of um, seaweed somewhere but you never know these days you know just because it says something on the packaging it's not necessarily true but uh, it smells like it smells like it smells like seaweed and um, you know very pleasing well-rounded citrus as opposed to that really sharp icky um, sort of like no this is a lemon scent um, it has the vague it vaguely reminds you of jasmine it's got that really creamy rounded kind of smell and I've it's it's wonderful if you're having like um, if your hair's just really dirty and it's just it, it, your hair and your head just feels a bit lighter after you've used it it's really wonderful um, the other one that I've used which was the uh, orange and lime and pineapple I believe um, it was lovely however I uh, I had a phase where I could only use that one because I was using it whilst um, yes I was recuperating um, it was lovely but I'm slightly um, over it because I've used it so often it is gorgeous um, if you like the smell of like fresh ripe fruit and pineapple it's gorgeous it's just it's like the best sweeties in the world um, but yeah um, I'm really bigging it up and um, so the skinny the TLDR is um, a lot of their stuff is really great for us Latinas and Latinx, so go find it you know, as quick as you can, stockpile before they reformulate, um, like you did with Neiman Propolis, Faith in Nature, if you're listening in, Neiman Propolis, you really need to bring that back, that was one of the best shampoos ever, if not the best I've ever used, so if you are Latina, Latinx, and you have thick hair, hunt down Faith in Nature, they are all that and a bag of vegan chips. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, uh, time for my internet cat impersonation. Do 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 do. There's the like, subscribe button. I'm also going to put the link for Faith in Nature, which will probably have the links to for for you to find it. Or you can try Google or DuckDuckGo if you're not particularly keen on um, Google harvesting all your data. She said on YouTube, owned by Google. So. I hope you have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves. I'll be right back.